The MENA region is home to 15 of the world's 20 most water scarce countries. 60% of their water needs have to be imported. By 2050, hundreds of millions of people will be hit with absolute scarcity. In a region that has been plagued by conflict, dictatorships, uprisings, and invasions, a drought might not seem like the most pressing issue. More than 12 million people are at imminent risk of losing access to fresh water. The average Jordanian uses 40 liters a day. That covers drinking, cooking, and washing. The Jordan River is also being overused by surrounding countries. The Tigris and Euphrates River that gave birth to the earliest civilizations are seeing their banks recede every year. The river provides a crucial source of electricity, but due to low water levels, hydroelectric dams could soon stop running. Water scarcity has also been blamed for driving young men to join terrorist groups. Iran is another country that has a looming water crisis. Lake Ermia in the Northwest has shrunk dramatically over the past three decades. Years of extreme drought and failed policies recently boiled over into deadly protests in Iran's Southwest. Temperatures there can reach as high as 50 degrees Celsius. The source of life has also become a source of conflict. What we take for granted almost every day could be gone without warning. And when the taps run dry, it can make a volatile region even worse. If water is not available, farmers lose jobs, um, they migrate, food becomes expensive or unavailable, and then tensions and conflicts and so many things start. So water can, water shortage can play a role of a catalyst. And if we look at what is happening today in Afghanistan, what has been happening in, in Syria, Iraq, and the rest of the region, we should get really worried about um, the, the upcoming problems related to water.